Hey guys, Mega Scatterbomb here. This was originally going to be a much flashier video with a montage of cheaters caught with the anti cheat edited into the intro. But in the interest of both transparency and accountability, I think it's best that this update is given to you straight. There has been a lot of positive developments with the anti cheat since my last upload, but there have also been a lot of negative developments. If you only follow my videos, you are likely under the impression that there's a team of 10, 15, 20 developers working away at Mega Anti-Cheats development, with work divided amongst them according to their skills, directed by myself and hosted by our sponsor. Right now, that couldn't be further from the truth. This may come as a shock, but it's just me now. Let's get the positive stuff out of the way first. At the end of part two, I alluded to a cheat detection algorithm template that you guys could use to develop your own cheat detection algorithms. The first version of that template is available. Even better, the infrastructure required to run these algorithms against the 30,000 demo recordings collected via the anti-cheat is in place and has been utilized. I have developed one cheat detection algorithm so far using this template. And I'm in the process of refining it, as there's still a few obvious false positive scenarios that need to be filtered out. If you want to experiment with making a cheat detection algorithm, the link to the template is in the description. It's written in Rust, which is not an easy language for beginners, but a lot of the boilerplate stuff has been taken care of. There is an example cheat detection algorithm in the code base, which you can use as a reference, as well as some algorithms that dump the data into a CSV or a JSON so you can get an understanding of the data accessible to the algorithms. In the future, this template will probably go through some breaking changes as its capabilities are enhanced. Right now, all you can analyze are the positions and view angles of players. Things like damage events and kill events may be added in the future. This video was intended to come out once more work had been done on the detection algorithms. I wanted to show off the capabilities of the anti-cheat by creating a montage of some of the cheaters that would have been caught by then. However, things have not been smooth sailing, to say the least, and I've had to make some changes to how this project operates. I intended on making and disclosing these changes within that same video, but recently there has been both criticism and confusion coming from members of the community that I think would be unhealthy to leave unaddressed. You guys are here for the anti-cheat, so I'm not going to dive into the behind-the-scenes drama in detail. I could explain the delays in acquiring the server we were originally hosting on, and why we moved on from them. I could explain why I fired a particular developer and the impacts that had on the other devs. I could explain the various factors that have caused the remaining devs to drift away, whether that be the ban wave, IRL commitments, disagreements with my decisions, or my failure to engage with them at the appropriate times. None of those explanations would change the fact that the situation we're in right now is my responsibility. I was originally going to dive deep into each of those scenarios, but after talking to friends and some other individuals in my community, it's clear I was losing focus on what mattered to you, the anti-cheat. If you want to know more about the little dramas in detail, you can reach out to me via Discord, Otherwise, let me catch you up on what's happening with the anti-cheat. The TLDR is that I'm going solo with it. The circumstances this project has faced have devastated the dev team to the point that I am the only developer with both the time and desire to continue work on it. Given that fact, I knew it would be unreasonable to continue acting as though there was still a dedicated development team when in reality, the last commit by another developer was in mid-August. Since then, there's only been the odd PR review or external contribution, like translations, compared to at least 100 commits on my part. In light of this lack of activity, I decided it was best to dissolve the development team. To be clear, this isn't me firing the dev team. I do not ascribe any blame to the devs for going inactive or leaving of their own accord. This has always been a volunteer project, and there was never any obligation on their part to do more than they were willing to do. This also doesn't mean I'm completely closing off myself from suggestions or criticisms of technical aspects of the project. The GitHub organization will remain open for issues and pull requests for anyone who wishes to contribute that way. 
I will still publish the source code under a GPL v3 license so that others can learn from the work we've done, or perhaps develop their own independent fork. These changes are intended to align the management of the project to the reality we face. I'm the one remaining active developer. Let's not operate in an environment that pretends otherwise. What this means in practice for you guys, the people who will use the entity sheet when it's complete, is that progress is going to be slow and the scope of the project is going to be reduced. For example, the machine learning parts of the project that I was excited about, not going to happen. I have very little experience in that field, so traditional algorithms like the example in the template are going to handle all our analysis needs. Communications wise, the developer channels in the Discord server have all been archived, with the exception of the Git channel which tracks activity in the project's GitHub repos. With that said, I have been gaining experience in maintaining parts of the project that I was less familiar with. I've learned a lot about Linux sysadmining, Docker containers, Python, Lightstar, Alembic, Postgres, MinIO, and so much more, just from having to maintain and operate the anti-cheat 100% on my own. The strong foundation that the other developers have put in place, combined with my own experience in maintaining, operating, and building upon said foundation, gives me confidence in my ability to carry this project to success. I may not see the finish line just yet, but there's multiple occasions during the project's development where I haven't quite been able to see the path forward. And every time I've doubted myself, I was later reassured as the team and I overcame whatever obstacle I was concerned about. I also want to stress that these reductions in scope aren't going to compromise the original vision for the anti-cheat. The goal is still to document and convict cheaters and get all the clients to collaborate on kicking them, or at the very least, complete the software required to do so. Utilization of such functionality may not be in high demand, given the effectiveness of Valve's measures, but even so, I retain a personal interest in seeing the project through to the end. I'm sorry that this happened. I wish that the project didn't pan out like this. I wish I was still working with the developers like we were prior to the open beta. Sadly, that isn't the case, and I'll have to spend a lot of time reflecting upon what happened and what I should have done differently. The devs ended up in the dev team because I chose them for their qualifications, their relevant skills. I ended up running the dev team because the video laying out my plans got lucky in the YouTube algorithm. I didn't get here because I was the most qualified project manager out of 100 candidates. I got here because I had an idea and I wanted to deliver on it. And it just so happened that others wanted to help. No matter whether I ultimately succeed or fail, I will forever value the experience I had working with the developers. I will forever value the work they put in to get this project where it is today, no matter how small each dev's contribution was. Even the dev that I fired deserves credit for their hard work. Thank you guys. I will do the best I can to make sure it was not done in vain. Thank you for watching. I'll see you up ahead.